Do you want to make $14,000 on your music using only $20? You're going to be surprised how simple it is. Stay tuned. This is an episode you don't want to miss. It's about a fee. It's about a fee. About a fee. Now, this video is sponsored by Distro Kid. Upload unlimited songs or albums to all of your favorite streaming platforms like iTunes and more and keep 100% of your profit. Find the link in the description below. Peace and blessings everyone, my name is SG1 from the Grammy Award winning production and songwriter team, The Peacemakers, and we try and teach you the secrets to the music business, production tips to make platinum tracks, and all of the secrets of the music millionaires and industry elite. So, if you're really serious about your music career, and you want to learn from seasoned professionals, then you need to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of this free and important career changing information. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize one of these streaming platforms to potentially make $14,000 with only a $20 investment and needing only 20,000 downloads. And I'm going to show you how to get your music on the platform that pays the most for your music to stream, Napster. Now, let me jump right in and get straight to the point. Distribution is and always will be the key aspect of your music business and it is one of the most powerful tools record labels possess. Having a strong distributor with the ability to get you where your fans are should be your primary goal and not to mention keeping your cost down to a bare minimum so that your profit margins are higher. But normally you also have to share it with a label and a lot of other different various peoples who are in the mix. But you as the artist would wind up paying the distributor a portion of that money as well, leaving your share most of the time the least amount of money that comes out of the sale. However, in today's digital world, you can take control of your future and your money and get the majority of the net share by using your very own digital distributor. Now time to talk money. Now in order to get that 14,000 I talked about, it would take 20,000 downloads using one of your favorites, iTunes, with your cut of that being 70% of the retail cost of 99 cents. Now believe it or not, that's not a lot of downloads and it's completely doable with great marketing or a buy incentive. And don't forget, marketing is the key. We'll cover that in a later video soon. Now this could be done as well with artists who do cover songs as well and making sure that you use a distributor that offers that option. Now to make this work, you will need a distributor that won't tax you on every download or stream. Now I'm going to turn you on to who I use and other artists that's popular use as well. My favorite digital distributor and one I personally use is DistroKid. Now DistroKid in my personal opinion is the best way to go because for only $20 a year and think about what I'm going to say, you get to upload and distribute unlimited songs to all of your favorite platforms like iTunes, Google Play Store, Pandora, Napster and even more. And that's a good look when fans type in your name or your label name and see you are on all of the major online platforms. This also validates you as a professional when you have worldwide distribution and you keep 100% of the profit. Now that's a smart business move, okay? Using DistroKid allows you the ability to make that 14,000 or even more and they provide you the tools you normally have to pay major money for like ISRC codes and more. And the team at DistroKid told me that any one of my subscribers that sign up from the link in the description below will get 70% did I say 70%? No, 7% off of their first year subscription. So make sure to click that VIP link below, okay? Now let me just say that when artists like Taylor Swift, Will Smith, and Ludacris use a company like this, it's telling you and singing a lot. And it has to be good because until you have met these guys personally and spoken with them and know how business savvy and smart and intellectual they are, you'd understand why I wanted to use DistroKid as well for our projects. Now what I want to do now is go to the computer to show you how simple it is to get started and show you all the benefits that you get for the $19.99 per year. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll notice when you sign in to DistroKid is that if you've already uploaded a single or album, that will be the first thing that you see and that green light basically represents that everything is good. Okay, and, and this also tells you where your music is and where it has been submitted to. Now, the first thing that I saw um, was that as soon as I submitted it, it was maybe a couple of hours later that it literally was on iTunes. And they send you an email confirmation basically um, verifying that your submissions 
have been either submitted and or approved to whatever platform that they are sending it to. Okay. So this is your main account. And the thing that I like the most is it's really simplistic. So when you go to upload your music, and again, this is all about trying to make that $14,000. And one of the um, platforms that you can do that on is iTunes, of course, because iTunes allots you 70% of your um, retail price. And, and it has to be, right now, I can tell you, it has to be a minimum of $0.99. Cent. All right. And so you can see here because of uh, who we are as the, the peacemakers um, that we have a priority account um, basically for the purpose of this tutorial. All right. Um, but I think that when you sign up, all accounts are probably priority. I don't know for sure. But uh, anyway, here you can have your option to where you want to send your music. OK. And you notice at the top of the list is Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music google play and for those who don't understand there is a difference between apple music and itunes all right um google play and youtube music amazon pandora deezer title napster um iheart radio claro music seven media net and 150 smaller outlets and so two of the things that we talked about was itunes and napster and if you remember in one of my videos napster was the um platform that paid you the most for your streaming and so it's a big difference when when naps there's a big difference between downloading and streaming and so these are two of the most um recommended by me um platforms that you can use however again the advantage with uh distro kid is you're paying one price you're paying 20 dollars an entire year for unlimited albums unlimited singles whatever it is and even cover songs uh and you get all of these options and, it, and they actually take 100 percent none of your earnings okay and, and that's the key behind this because that's what makes the difference and so here as you notice you'll do a number of songs uh and we just basically did a single uh, i put the artist and or band name and it gives you instructions here if you don't understand it doesn't it, it, it gives you instructions so it's real clear cut to how to operate and use uh distro kid to um get that that single released so that you can start making money immediately on it all right. And um, what happens is when you when you put an artist's name in or if you have already submitted to iTunes before or Spotify right here or right here, what happens is it goes online and it does basically a, a scrape and it, it searches their database to find out if you are already there. And if you are, what it does is instead of recreate stores or a store for you, it utilizes the store that iTunes and Spotify already have for you. And what you basically have to do is you have to go in here and verify whether that is you or not. And so what they basically do is give you a link that you can go to verify if, um, if that's actually your store or page that they're showing a connection to, okay? Now right here is real simple. You enter the release date that you want this music released and you can coincide this with possibly like a music video that you're going to be having released sometime in the future and or any other promotions that you're going to be doing uh, this works especially in the aspect of a record label when you are trying to sync all promotions and releases together and you have a pretty much um, a, a, a surefire date that you're going to be releasing your stuff then this will release the music the time that you have all your other promotions or anything else released which i think is a very powerful tool um pre-order okay so uh if you want your fans or your clients or you want to be able to have this available for pre-order you can set that up as well um before the release date so basically if your release date um let's say is uh august 25th uh, and you want to have it available in July, you can make that available there. Uh, here, you put your record label um, here or your publishing company. You know what I mean? I don't think there's really a big deal. You can put your publishing company there as well. And then you put the either album cover or the image that you want to use for your single. Now, the, the key behind this is you must make sure that your, your JPEG is a perfect square of 3,000 by 3,000, okay? It has to work or it will not accept your image. All right. And then it gives you some ex uh, examples here. And it also tells you that, you know, you you need to own your artwork. And again, guys, this is a simple one page um, 
uh, uh, upload right here, you know what I mean? And, and it gets no simpler than that. You prefer your language, you put your genre in, you select your secondary genre, you put the track title in, uh, it gives you examples of um, what you can use, and then it asks you real simple, you know, did you write this song as an original tune? Or, remember I was talking about the cover songs, is this a cover? So if it's a cover, you can click cover, and uh, I'm not sure of all the details because we don't do covers, but from my understanding, uh, uh, DistroKid will get the releases for you. Uh, if I'm wrong, someone please correct me in the comments. Um, here, you basically say if it's explicit, you issue your track price. So now this is the important part because I remember I was telling you the 70% of the 99 cents. So here it is. This is a minimum price. Well, 69 cents is a minimum price for iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. But I would suggest doing the 99 cent. Um, you know, uh, if, if you have uh, already established clientele base or fan base and you want to do it on special for them or you, you want to be able to um, boost your sales then 69 cent is is great um, but this is for a single of course and you know the highest you can go here when it came to track prices is $1.29 uh, I would always suggest doing 99 cent it's typically the the uh, midway price that everyone if they download your music will pay for your music of course 69 cent uh, is a lot cheaper um, and then you basically look for your file by clicking on browse um, uh, again, and again, they have so many options here that it is it is for producers as well. You know what I mean? This is producer friendly, which is you guys. So here we have a question. Is it an instrumental? All right. So if it's an instrumental, um, you can put this is instrumental and it contains no vocals. All right. Um, which, is, which is very beneficial if you're going to utilize their option for YouTube monetization, which they offer as well. But with, in our particular case, our song contains vocals. And then here, the final aspect of it, we're winding down is uh, these are additional options that you can choose for your single uh, if you want to you know select YouTube money it, it pop you know pop up shows you more extends more information uh, which you know if, if you are going to be um, uh, allowing your music to be used in YouTube videos or, or some kind of form of content management this is great for you and this is 495 a year and uh, there, there's group prices if you are uploading an album. So if you do a whole album and you want that available on YouTube, the price is a little bit different, it's a little bit higher, along with all the rest of these. Okay, and 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 as you see, man, I mean, like, who does this, man? Like, really, this is so simple and straightforward and great. And then you look at the store maximizer. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it tells you that it will automatically deliver the single to new online stores when they become available. Basically, it uh, gives you the option for Shazam and iPhone Siri. Uh, and then they have the Leave a Legacy. Now, this is so important because what this does is, and it's a one-time fee, only if you choose to. Now, all this stuff I'm telling you is optional, okay? You do not have to choose any of this, and, and it, you know, there's no penalty for not using this stuff. But if you do want to use this stuff, then, you know, it gives you the appropriate prices. But, like, for example, Leave a Legacy. And so it tells you this is a $29 one-time fee fee non-reoccurring uh, and basically it says it will never delete the single from stores due to a lapse in your distro kid membership okay uh, it says even if you die and that is so important because what this says is this ensures continual royalties and what i will suggest is i would i would click this option you know if you're going to do an album and or if this is a song that you just want to leave up forever um i would definitely use this Okay, and so then it talks about important checkbox, which is mandatory, um, and, and, it, and it just runs down everything here. And once you're done, you click done. And once you have finished, it basically, you know, goes through the process of submitting your music. And it's really just that simple, guys. Uh, but a lot of the features I like is um, you can now look at your music. You can see where your music has been submitted and where it's probably already. Matter of fact, it's... If it has the green light, then you're good. So all this has already been submitted and is available in these platforms. Uh, and then the, one of the things that I love, right, is Teams. Okay, so with this team aspect, this basically automate payments to everyone that was a part of the music. Okay, and that's the bomb. Okay, and that and that is absolutely, that is absolutely you know the, the the best part about this that you can automate payments to everyone who were who had taken part of this music all right and then you can select the release for it and then you know go to next and and um put the people 
in who partook in that particular project. And, and again, and you can also make them a part of it. And if they do become a part of a, a distro a kid, what happens is they'll get a 50% discount coupon emailed to them so that they can join and be a part of distro kid and then get their, their um, revenue. Um, however, so this is a bomb option. Uh, of course, you can look at your stats, and, and, and for the purpose of this video, I just recently uploaded uh, Battlefield. We haven't did any promotion on it or anything like that, but you can go here and look at your stats. Um, you can upgrade to uh, other accounts, okay, and it's just, you know, just beautiful. And here you can see, wow, I just I just uploaded, so I don't know what the two, one, but, you know, it's, it's talking about current units and it gives you your units right here talks about yesterday last seven days last 30 days and it just breaks it down um, from the the artists that you are using um, let's go to I apologize let me go back all right so basically here you says you can connect your distro kid to your Spotify account if you want it to all right and so here with upgrade like Again, if you want to upgrade um, your current account um, to like a label account, which which if you are going to be putting out multiple artists, um, then this is definitely the best option because this will save you tons of money, tons of money. If you're a label and you have five or more artists, you already you automatically save. Uh, like twenty dollars if you got five artists because that's twenty dollars per artist that you would be signing up, um, and then if you have more than that, then you, you're saving more money. More money, of course. But then you also have the Musician Plus plan here, um, which is all these again are upgrades. And for the Musician Plus plan, you get two artists or band names, and you know you're saving like four dollars or something like that and they say ten percent and then of course the just musician where you get one artist or band name and you get unlimited song um, plays upload unlimited lyrics uh, Spotify verified check all this good stuff and I meant to tell you about this as well um, they have an option that allows you to be able to upload your lyrics as well which is so important because a lot of people like the fact that when they have songs they like to be able to read the lyrics of their song uh, again, man, this is so pivotal to your distribution and this is also pivotal to your finances because in the music industry, you know, and in business period, it's about profit and wages, you know what I'm saying, or profit and losses. And so when you only paying $19 for an entire year um, for unlimited access to upload your music and and outside of marketing because that's the key you now have to market to your 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 potential fan base which is a whole nother video that we're going to get in trust me um but when you marketing to get those twenty thousand um downloads right uh or or those what was it i think it was um oh my god i can't remember ninety thousand streams on napster right to make that fourteen or fifteen hundred dollar a month uh payday you know, you, you, you want to be able to not have to worry about someone keep jumping into your money. You know what I mean? You don't want to have to be paying out every time you make a sale. They're making money, you know, outside of the platform, of course. And then so here, let me finalize this real quick. Here, when it comes to the bank aspect of it, uh, this is basically your last royalty reports uh, from the stores you've released. And, and basically, it tells you that stores are typically on a two to three month delay. Um, if you see not yet reported below, it means the royalties have not yet been released to the distributors. Okay. So, you know, all of this stuff, man, is like for $20 is just amazing. And again, the, the purpose is to be able to make your money, um, by having a distributor that is just straightforward, good, you know what I mean? And, and the bomb, you know what I mean? You want, you want a distributor that's not constantly taking a portion of your money. All right. And so that's what I loved about. Um, distro kit period and so um, you know if you if you want to talk about credits um, of the song you can put the credits who's it credited to what um, here they got the vault which is free unlimited backups of your music files lyrics get your lyrics into Apple music and iTunes artist image page Spotify for artists Spotify artist separation YouTube wish list and then down at the bottom they have the um, Instagram um, videos and tutorials here to help you basically 
um, figure out how to use it if it's not already self-explanatory enough, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, something else we want to talk about, the cover song licenses. You can get cover song licenses. They have a referral program, um, receipts uh, for your download, credit card, and more. And so, guys, um, with that said, man, again, just want to say Distro Kid is the way to go. Um, it is definitely, for me, uh, a, oh, man, it's, it's, it's a great tool. Uh, it's a great resource, and I definitely recommend it. So um, look here, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and push that bell notification. We got a lot more videos with a lot more resources and a lot more tools and be turning you guys on. But it's only going to happen with guys who are, you know, subscribed. They have the bell notification click so they can be alerted to the new information that's being dropped. I told you uh, we're coming out bigger and better this year. Um, look out for Shilu, a new single Battlefield because it is officially out because I... I uploaded it on Distro Kit. <laughs> but guys, make sure you subscribe, notify. And remember, as always, uh, if there's something that you feel like I left out, please leave a comment in the um, comment section below. Don't forget to click on the description, uh, the link, in the link, excuse me, don't forget to click on the Distro Kit link at the end of the description so that you can receive that 7% off of your first year. Save money. This is a business, guys. Think smart. Save money. Uh, click on that link so that you can save money. Show DistroKid that you guys really appreciate the services that they're offering and what they're offering. And let them know that Music Millionaire sent you over. And with that said, always remember, guys, music is life and we out.